Years ago, when people would ask me what I was doing, I, I would always say nothing, because I certainly couldn't call myself an artist, you know, even though I was spending all that time painting and stuff. And so to call myself an artist would have been pretty bizarre. Even now, it sounds silly. I paint funny pictures. That's it. Even though I always wanted to paint, probably as far back as when I was six years old, because I drew all the time, but there was never, uh, you know, with nine kids in the family, uh, I never got paints until I was, uh, I think I was 18 actually, 17, 18 years old. And it was a little, just a box of like eight, or eight colors with little instructions in there on how to paint. Paintings that I did years ago that I really like. Isn't that funny though, they're worth money. I actually make money doing this shit. You know, I mean, somebody, <laughs> somebody comes in and they want, you know, a painting like this. You know, probably, and, uh, you know, and the one underneath would be even more money. A painting like that's probably 16, $1,700 very first thing that I painted, I was so embarrassed to turn it into the art teacher. It was, you could either do an oral report, which I sure as hell wasn't going to do, or do a painting. And uh, I remember bringing it into my teacher uh, when I knew she wasn't there because I was so embarrassed because I didn't know. And it was an abstract painting. And uh, I wrapped it up and I left it on her desk and all that stuff. Uh, thinking that, you know, she might think it's more funny than a worthwhile project. And years later, I learned uh, from a friend of mine, she actually took that painting, had it in her class, and made everybody in all those classes do a report on it. deck, you know, just uh, having a couple of cold beverages, relaxing, enjoying the night. And my wife said to me, uh, don't get angry. I have, uh, uh, I, I did something and I, I really didn't talk to you about it and all that stuff. And I said, Patty, I'm in such a great mood tonight. If you got something to say, this is a great time to do it because I'm just in a great mood. I feel great tonight. And she said, well, I've uh, signed us up to be part of the uh, Friday Art Walk, except we're not going to go in Portland. We're going to do it right here. And I said, uh, Friday Art Walk, that means tomorrow is Friday. So, we, you know, we're going to have to get ready for that. And she said, uh, that's why I'm telling you tonight. Yeah. I said, that's fine, Patty. That's okay, because we don't even have any time to let anybody know about it. So the first one was pretty funny. I think we had uh, maybe five people here or something like that. You know, friends of ours that probably would have stopped over and away. These kinds of things are really hard for me to do. It's uncomfortable for me and all that stuff. So, And I think I said that we'll try it for like six months and see how it goes. And, uh, you know, it takes time. You know, like today, yesterday, you know, I rearranged the paintings and all that stuff. And uh, everything that has to do with that takes time away from painting, so it's uncomfortable for me, you know. To me, you know, obviously, I had no idea what to do. I had never painted or anything, and I just read those little instructions, you know, a few little things to do. And uh, But I liked the last line on the... the uh, the instructions of how to paint. The last line was something like, okay, pick up your paintbrush and go to work. As soon as you stop painting, you're an artist. Even if it's bad art, right? Playing sports in school, which came very easy to me because it was the same feeling as painting that uh, 
I have a big sign up in my studio that one of the high school kids made for me, and it's from a quote that says, the moment we lose ourselves, we find ourselves. And when I'm painting, I lose myself. And uh, most of the time, I'm not even concerned uh, what I'm doing, you know, to begin the painting. It's just throwing stuff on there and uh, sitting back and, and then seeing what you see, you know. When I go over to the gym to work, uh, you know, I just do these little doodles, these little drawings, and uh, bring the drawings home. Uh, I take them, I get them back to the house, I make a copy of them, which is what this is. And uh, I kind of grit it out because I want to get it, you know, as close as I can to the original drawing. Uh, the colors change a little bit. Uh, with these acrylic paints, you actually keep your colors lighter and stuff And in the beginning. And you're working towards your darker stuff, which is just the opposite of what you would do if you were doing an oil painting. And so this particular step of the painting, first thing I do, I get it drawn out with these black lines, uh, just like in the picture here. And uh, this part is really very simple. You keep the colors real simple um, because you're going to paint over them uh, in a way. So what I'm doing, you know, to begin the painting, it's just throwing stuff on there and uh, sitting back and, and then seeing what you see, you know. Uh, it's more interesting, actually, when you don't have an idea. If I'm doing a portrait, um, if I'm doing a landscape, if I'm doing some sort of a commission for somebody, you know, it's pl I look at it and I study the picture before I do it and I can see how it has to be done. And uh, um, it's just not as exciting an adventure as taking a blank canvas and just throwing stuff on there, you know. All I'm doing here is throwing in a color and then I'm just gonna switch colors a little bit. And like I say, this doesn't have to be uh, all that accurate because I'm going to glaze over all of it and repaint everything in oil paint. So, learning how to paint, like with any job, is very hard, you know. Uh, but once you've learned how to do it, uh, there is nothing, uh, no matter what I paint, to me right now, it, whether I'm doing abstract things or the lighthouse out there or whatever it is. It's basically, to me, all the same, and there is absolutely nothing hard about it. People ask me that one a lot. I said, geez, how do you do that, Matt? That must be very hard, and I always say the same thing. I said, hard, something hard is like going out in the backyard and digging a hole. That's hard. Painting ain't hard. That's all pleasure to me, now that I've learned to do it. You know, it took quite a few years uh, to get to that point as long as I don't uh, give up too soon on it, is, you know, going to be a, a pretty good saleable painting, you know. So it's, it's just easy once you learn something, right? Once we, once we, whatever it is, doesn't make any difference what you're doing. Once you learn it, you know it, it's easy. Uh, when I decided to paint, uh, my thinking was, I. I'm going to just do this, whether I become successful or not, that wasn't important to me. All I knew that when my head was in painting, I had a peace of mind that I didn't have anywhere else. I was focused on one thing. And uh, so the money is, uh, you know, it's obviously great when you make some money. You know, it makes life easier for everybody. Uh, when my wife says, you got to make some money, you got to sell a couple paintings, and I take care of business and I do that. The money idea, uh, all that seems to do for me is distract me. You know, you get a bunch of money in your pocket, and what do you do? You waste all your time. So, basically, all I do is, uh, you know, uh, give my wife what I make, and uh, maybe buy some good beer that night. That's pretty exciting. And, uh, and just keep focused on painting and stuff like that. 
you know, the business end of it. I, I don't get it. I, you know, that's not, and unfortunately I've been doing this long enough and know enough people. So uh, I can survive this battle, you know. It took a few years, about 50. <laughs> if there was something that I could change is, uh, Contrary to what a lot of people think about time and me having a lot of time, it's just the opposite. And I wish that uh, uh, everybody that was interested in that because it's, it is very, uh, teaching somebody comes very easy to me because I, have all, I, uh, I, I know what it's, uh, having a hard time myself learning sometimes. And if people had just gone slower and kept things simpler, School would have been a lot easier for me and stuff like that. And um, I wish I had more time to, uh, you know, help more people with something like that. That would be good. I really don't have, uh, you know, happily married, got a bunch of kids, got a house, got everything uh, that a person could possibly want. So I couldn't imagine, uh, you know, as a young person starting to pursue this and thinking about it. I never dreamt that. Uh, you know, that I would get to this point where I can sell stuff. People are so afraid, uh, um, you know, not to go, you know, with the things that they dream of. Uh, and the, the way to end up uh, most happy in this world. And so you can, all the people that are around you can be happy because you're happy, you feel good about what you're doing, and that's all from uh, dreaming. <laughs>